Memorial Day celebrations are getting underway with events planned over the next few days from the Boston Common to outlying neighborhoods. At the same time, people are also turning their attention to veterans still among us, including people who've recently come back from service in Afghanistan and Iraq. But many veterans trying to recover mentally and physically still have a long way to go. Among those trying to help is the Red Sox Foundation and Mass General Hospital's home base program, which plans a fundraiser in the summer. We'd like to welcome two of the staff members the Associate Director of Outreach, who served in Afghanistan as a U.S. Marine, Tommy Furlong, and the Family Outreach Coordinator, Jackie Francona. Thank you both very much for being with us. Thank you. I want to start with uh, Tommy. Uh, t talk about the kinds of things that, that your organization helps with, because uh, this is not about help necessarily with clinical services, but just uh, assortment of other things that people need help with, I imagine. Sure. Well, primarily we are an outpatient treatment facility for the invisible wounds of war. Uh, so that's uh, deployment-related stressors, post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, and traumatic brain injury. Uh, so that is the primary focus of our program. But yes, we do uh, community education. Uh, we uh, educate clinicians around New England and the country, um, as well as research on uh, post-traumatic stress and traumatic brain injury as well. Jackie Frank your, your, your job is the families, all the relatives of these people who've been in the service. So what are they going through? Well, I think um, it, they go through different things at different times. Of course, there's a whole deployment cycle. So when the service member is away, they have that, uh, you know, worry about their safety and a kind of an adjustment of their own roles and their family roles. And then when the service member returns, they have the whole reintegration of the service member into the family and in, into the community. And so it's a different kind of worry as, you know, no one really knows what to expect and whether or not the service member will have changed in some way. Okay. Sorry, what, what about uh, people who have trouble getting services? How do you usually help them? Well, we are a unique program in the, in the fact that we can treat any service member regardless of discharge status. Uh, so if a service member leaves uh, duty with an other than honorable discharge, general or dishonorable discharge, we will be able to treat them, though they may not be able to get VA benefits. Uh, so they can really fall under our umbrella. Uh, the other one is we're able to support family members as well. Anyone that veteran considers family can come to home base for support uh, and for treatment themselves. Um, and we are able to treat regardless of the veteran's ability to pay. Uh, so since we run primarily on about 99% philanthropy, uh, co-pays are covered uh, for the program. The veteran, uh, if they don't have insurance, they will never see a, a bill from home base. Jackie, what about the, the, the meaning of treatment? Because it, it, in the most formal way, it means you get counseling maybe, but I guess there might be other ways to help people, maybe support groups or something like that. Well, we do have uh, support groups. So yes, we do have traditional um, counseling, both for uh, the veterans and for family uh, members. We have a whole variety of staff members, child psychologists, psychologists, psychiatrists, and um, adult uh, clinicians as well. Um, we also run a spouse support group. We run a parent support group. Parents of uh, service members are sometimes a forgotten group. Um, the you know, adult service members will come home and they will, especially the young unmarried ones, they will go home and return and live with their parents. And so they're the ones who are uh, struggling with identifying what's going on. I, I guess the, the sad stories or when, when somebody comes back who, who is seriously troubled and you have parents or other relatives who really want to help but they, they just don't know what to do. Yes, that is, that is true and that's our job. The outreach team is we try to um, educate in the community and make as many people aware of signs and symptoms to look for uh, for re different reintegration stress and to let them know that you know they're not alone and that there is help and that treatment does work and I think that's one of the messages that we want everyone to understand is that you can feel better. Tell me one, one thing I've heard about uh, trauma and, and it could be trauma from street violence too is, is that uh, it's not just something you have for a month or six months uh, it's something that can come back at you years later so I guess you need somebody you can fall back to over the long haul. Do you see your organization fitting into that in some way? Yes absolutely and, uh, and post-traumatic stress is something that may happen months down the line uh, after you leave service or after a deployment. Um, it may not be something that happens right away, so uh, it may develop over time. Um, we, we, see, uh, we see a lot of 
veterans from the early days in Iraq, uh, 2004, 2005, um, that have just been living with, with their issues for quite some time mm -hmm. and are now ready to say, hey, you know what, I've been dealing with this for quite a while. Uh, it's, it's time to make that call. Um, so they are out there. Well, we should mention, uh, Jackie, uh, you're, you're trying to keep uh, contact with families and get other families in contact. So what's the best way for them to, to do that with your organization? If a family member is welcome to call into our clinic, in fact, that's really the probably the main way that a lot of the veterans first have contact with the clinic is through a family member. So they are, um, can call the clinic um, directly. Uh, we, the model that we use there is if a family member calls, they um, speak to one of our social workers and she kind of identifies next steps. If a veteran calls in, they speak with Tommy or one of our other veteran outreach coordinators and they do the intake. You know, that's our, our model that they're all combat veterans and they understand, you know, what the service member has been going through. That must be tough, Tommy, that you, you, you get trained to, to serve in the military and you're not supposed to complain about problems and all of a sudden you have to think differently. Yes, absolutely. And I think that's one of the, uh, one of the hardest things about ad admitting uh, to some sort of mental health issue, issue is that where you have all of these friends who actually have physical uh, uh, impairments or have been physically wounded in Iraq or Afghanistan, it's easy to say, um, I, there's, there's physically nothing wrong with me, um, so I, I'm, I'm much less worse off than that guy or, or that girl. Um, they need the treatment first, so I'll hold off. Um, that is the mentality. Um, uh, but unfortunately, that's, that's not what needs to happen. Uh, if, if you are dealing with something, it's, you, you owe it to yourself uh, to call, call us or call another uh, program in, in order to get the, that help. Okay, uh, of course, another form of help here is uh, people who support your organization. You have an right. event coming up in the summer, right? We do. We are uh, ready to launch the fifth annual Run to Home Base, and that is, will take place on July 19th at Fenway Park. It's a 9K run or a three-mile walk. And as Tommy mentioned earlier, our program runs on philanthropy, so it's a great way to support the organization. It's a great day. The park is open to the public. Um, where Our goal this year is 3,000 runners. I think we had 2,000 last year. And they start the run out on Yaki Way and finish at home plate, and so it's uh, you know it's fun for the runners, and it's a, it's great fun for the participants. We should well. mention, Jackie, if anybody wants to find out about this in more detail or to get some help, is there a way that they can uh, look you up? Yes. So our pr the program is called the Home Base Program, and so our website is homebaseprogram.org, and that has all kinds of information about the services that we provide, as well as links to the run, uh, links to some of our education models like from the war zone to the home front. Um, if you're specifically interested just in the run, uh, that has its own website, which is runtohomebase.org. Right. Thank you very much for being with us, Jackie Francona Thank and Tommy you. Furlong from Thank Home Base. You.